Uh, she might not, but um, yeah. The only rule is I'm. I always get to sit next to her because for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah. Just, just make her promise. Uh, no roadhead. Um, I am actively gonna not promise that because that's actually quite impressive. It's impressive, yes, but uh, it's also incredibly dangerous because it's very hard to drive while ejaculating. <laughs> I mean, I think you underestimate my ability to multitask. Oh my god, you guys. I am very good at multitasking. She's only I helping mean... me stay awake and awake and aware and stimulating the mind and the body. Okay, uh... sure. <laughs> And that's when Joey and Golden realized this is no longer safe for both. <laughs> and that is when Joey and Golden realized they were quite envious because they weren't the ones getting roadhead. <laughs> I, I, I think I need to lie down. I, I, I feel like <laughs> you've destroyed them. Why? Uh, nice. Fucking hell! <laughs> what the hell is this? I've decided on who I'll draw next as Splatoon character, though. I want you all to try and guess. Is it gonna be Nikki V or Lightning Bliss? Uh, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid! Oh god. Okay, have fun with that, I guess. Um... Okay. My itchy itch 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 itch. Um, um I'll I'll go look at the chat in a minute. I'm sorry I've not been paying attention to the chat. Um Understandable. Um um, um Wait, is that who I think it is? No, it's somebody else. Never mind. Okay. Some motherfucking where... schmuck. Is that where is that? There, there, there it is. Clicking on the golden stream. Mute the golden stream. Why is there an ad on the golden stream? Hey, Solar. Hey, wait, Blissy, I got an idea. Uh. Uh, what if I just put Goldie's stream on the TV? But I need to see the chat. Oh. I think the chat can still be seen on the uh, TV screen, can it? Yeah, actually, yeah, you can. Yeah, actually, can. There's a command to do that. Yeah. But it's delayed. So is this. Yeah. Like, I was just sitting there thinking, like, the, so? The chat, I'm seeing the chat, like, in real time. I'll see the chat on the TV, but it'll be delayed. Okay, use your mobile yeah. device, right. then. I, I, I got, I, I have it right here. I'm good. Understand. I'm good. If you want to watch it, I'm, I won't stop you. Um, oh, Solar, do you want me to tell you something awesome about knights that I, uh, found out that make them more badass? Huh. Okay. This is true of the occult knight orders. The entire mythology of the Holy Grail and the knights who seek it is actually, um, it is the continuation of the, of Viking mythology and the northern myths. Essentially, Christianity couldn't Christianize all of that. So it became the uh, the Holy Grail mythology. Oh my God! It so all the, the mysteries of the Holy Grail of Odin and the North and the great gods of the North and of and the warrior culture that came with the Vikings that all turned into uh, the Knights <laughs> of the Holy Grail. Why do what do I think of Pride Month? Uh, respect to those who celebrate Pride Month. But yeah, essentially. Uh, when you play for honor, what you're really what you're really doing is you're not playing as knights, Vikings, and uh, samurai. What you're really playing is samurai, Vikings, and updated Vikings. Samurai, Vikings, and uh, Vikings <coughs> plus. Basically, yeah. Or if you prefer, uh, samurai knights and proto knights. I'm well aware that Pride Month has the representation of the rainbow colors. I'm well aware. That's... I, 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 I mean, I'm sorry, but... I, 
hey, haha, what does this person that's associated with rainbows think of this month that's also associated with rainbows? Ha ha, XD, clever questioning. Really thought provoking. My throat hurts too much for me to make these kind of references, so I'm just gonna let Solar speak for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically it works like this. It just evolved out of Vikings, had some Christian elements thrown in, so it's like Northern mythology plus Christianity, then it made knights. Because uh, the Grail itself isn't just the Philosopher's Stone; it's also uh, the the horn of the horn of the meat of inspiration that Odin gives to his chosen. It's there's literally no difference. Well, and I've already answered the question, Luigi. Man, I basically said respect to those who celebrate it. Be kind, that's, rewind. Yeah, pay the that's also um. That's also why there's an always an Odin figure in all across the North. Uh, when whenever you look at the Holy Grail mythology, because in Germany, Odin appears as the Grail Knight Gernamons, and uh, obviously in Britain, he's Merlin. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure you never could have guessed. No, I'm just saying, yeah, to be part of the conversation. <laughs> Sorry. You're yeah, you're fine. I'm also half paying attention because I'm reading the chat. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm, I was also trying to think of ways to say that, yes, uh, I'm not directly involved in the LGTB community. Uh, my brother is gay, and he is actually coming down June 3rd. Uh, not necessarily to see me for my birthday, but to see our grandmother, who's not doing very well. Oh, no. Yeah, it's very possible. I have not gotten word yet from my mom, and she'll probably tell me when I see her. Um, but they're looking to get her in on hospice. So she is sweet, though. She she remembers me. She remembers you every time. That's what I thought was interesting, which just tells me she really likes you. Oh. She, yeah, she really does. I, I can tell she does. Which. I admit, makes me want to cry because I wish you could have met her when she was, you know, more stable. Yeah, no, th like that makes me, that does make me emotional too, just in an internal way. She and my papa would have talked your ear off about stories of what they were like back in the day and during the war and how they met and talking about how they would babysit me at times when my parents were out. Papa giving me the talk. <laughs> Oh, well, you so see, when a man good. sticks his penis in a woman's vagina... That was not how he gave me the talk. He simply said, all little boys want to do is get in your pants. That's it. That's all he told oh. me. Um, by the way, uh, yeah, no, I do think that's sweet, though, but I just remembered another badass thing that isn't related to this. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, something that's really awesome is I found out that Texas has a really high percent... There's like a lot of Odinists that live in Texas, and now there's kind of I'm noticing that there's kind of a Texan Odinism coming in, where uh, it's where basically people adopt the like the cowboy kind of mythos, but they now apply it instead of to Vikings. They made a Texan version of it that is applied to cowboys as like a legit thing that people do today. <laughs> All right, good. So instead of just the normal Harvamal, which is Odin sings to man, which is you might compare it to Proverbs. Kinda, um, or the wise sayings of this man. They made a Texan version of that, like an un unironically. And the people who practice this, they all like, like wear normal Texan attire, and they do carry six shooters. Not, not gonna but lie. The, uh, Texas is probably the last place I would have expected to uh, practice Odinism. Same. Well, but I'm just saying they practice. They practice rune magic. They have they they also use it on the revolvers, and they practice elements of Texan culture. But instead of worshiping the Christian god, they just worship Odin and practice fucking rune magic. It's a like cowboy gun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cowboys with revolvers, and they do rune magic and do and worship Odin. It's fucking awesome. Yeehaw. And they exist in Texas. Texan Odinists exist. Oh, Keyframe got a panel. Let me see this. 
I, so I guess this is better time than ever to say I have a panel at BronyCon. Yes, little old me will be hosting a panel at the last BronyCon. A nice all ages even titled "You Suck" and why that's okay. <laughs> oh boy, this will be fun. <laughs> Keep playing, I love you. Yes. And congrats. Like, <laughs> like I mean, damn. So many of our friends' panels have been rejected. Uh, Gold of Box. Oh wait, that Gold Box. Will. Sorry, that Golden. Will. Eliora. Claire. Uh, sorry, Sweetie Bloom. Um. Yeah, yeah. It, it's blind. I was actually terrified that TF2 wasn't going to get accepted, but no, it did. I, um, I, I was shocked that they accepted Josh's two panels because they always been rejecting him before, and now suddenly, last protocol, they finally give him his due. <laughs> we also got two can LDM panels. Yep. He got the two key LDM panel. Uh, I did probably not say that right. I'm sorry. Um, and it is definitely uh, confirmed with me that I, I have to do the thing for Make-A-Wish. So, yeah. We're all going to be super busy at BronyCon. I got to make it. I am so glad I'm. we're going early, put it that way. Yeah, I'm going early, too. Got to get pre-registration shit done. Ow! Fucking I'm gonna be super busy, and I'm gonna make sure I'm not super broke. <laughs> I know. The when, when are you arriving? I enjoy not being broke. Being broke is uh, not fun. Yeah, no, it's not. It never is. When are you arriving, Golden? Um, I'm arriving Tuesday morning. We get oh, there so when we get there. there. So I, you're I, we're gonna arrive the same day. Good. Um, I'm gonna be arriving like seven something in the morning. We're going to be arriving Tuesday, that's July 30th, uh, sometime around the late afternoon. All right. I have not met with Will or Katie about when we're going. Uh, I would recommend giving them a poke. I'm gonna. Next time, next time they come to visit. Uh-huh. Which is always once a month, so... You got... You got quite the conversation going in the chat, Aeon. What's what's up? Everyone's talking about Norse cowboys. Goodness me, I like uh, Thor got a thunder on horseback. It's like shot in his hand rather than a hammer. Okay, I gotta look this shit up. I'm just gonna point out. No, I'm gonna point out. Texas gets so many thunderstorms, and I was just getting done telling Bliss after a thunderstorm last night that the Norse myth uh, explanation. No explanation. The Norse myth as to why thunderstorms happen is that ice giants are descending on this part of Earth and that a thunderstorm is happening because Thor has risen into the clouds to fight them off. And every time you see lightning or hear thunder, it's Thor killing an ice giant with his hammer. <laughs> if ice giants are descending on Texas, why the fuck is it so hot? I don't know. Well, it, it's so hot because they never actually reach Texas because Thor is just too damn good at his job. Oof. See? Oof. <laughs> you just got an answer for everything, don't you, don't you, don't you? I do. But the idea of Thor in the sky with the revolver that's so fucking powerful that it sounds like that it shoots lightning and sounds like thunder and killing ice giants with it is fucking cool. It shoots lightning and craps thunder. Yes. You got it here. It kicks names and takes ass. I mean, Thor got laid quite a bit, so well, he was actually the more faithful of his two. Of his two. Uh... Okay, he was married to Sif or Sybil, depending on what translation you read. Uh, however, there's a rumor going around in a lot of the myths that she was unfaithful to him. Ah, mm. uh, kill me. No. Ah. My throat hurts. Oh. Oh. I'm whining. My throat hurts. Why? Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up at a let's play. But yeah, still. Odinic use the morph ball bombs. Odin is using the power of the runes to. 
<laughs> while well, well, enjoying Texan culture and driving a, a pickup truck named Sleipnir would be fucking oh, apparently awesome. Apparently that's what you're supposed to use. Huh, okay. But that's what I should get. I should get a Texas edition there we Ram. Go. Thank you. God damn. That was one of the most cryptic what? bosses I've ever fought in this game. But uh, hey, no. I got the spring jump. There you go. I'll get a hey. Longhorn Ram, which is the Texas edition of the Dodge Ram, and then I'll change the license plate to Slapenir. And then when I get a pistol, I'll car when I get a revolver, I'll carve the Gungnir rune in the uh, in the uh, handle. See what you do here is you get two revolvers, right? You get one black, one white. You engrave one with Gungnir, and you engrave the other with Mjolnir. That sounds badass as hell. Yes. God damn it. And then you ride into Texas, having journeys across <laughs> so the nine worlds, so to say, the nine major cities. There we go. Enjoying being a Texan who also practices rune magic and worships Odin. Odin, Murica, and pickup trucks. Yeah. Get a Dodge Ram with a Cummins diesel in it. Uh, hope a good night's sleep will help. Probably. Sleep is nice. No! Oh, I love, God damn I, it! I do love sleep. Sleep is good. I like to sleep. So, who's looking forward to uh, playing Pokemon in their sleep 2020? <laughs> what? Yeah, no, fucking, at the, the Pokemon press conference a couple days ago, they announced Pokemon Sleep. Okay, can I just say, wouldn't it be really cool if we finally did develop a machine that actually, like, sort of like a drug, like, binaural beats are supposed to do this to you, but imagine if they fine-tuned it to guarantee that it would give you an experience. And then you could just have experiences as dreams. Like, I don't know, you pick... Something that lets you lucid dream on command? Yeah, yeah, but it, like... It can, like, guide the experience similar to, like, a drug trip, so it's, like... Like... If you want to have, like, basically an action-adventure dream, you can just play that track and then just let it, like, take you in your sleep. And, so and suddenly you're, like, I don't know... Jason Bourne is now your best friend, and you gotta figure shit out God before, it. like, some Russian guy kills you or something. Awesome. Before cool. Ivan kills you. <laughs> <laughs> you see Ivan. You see Ivan. I cannot match the funny accents of Aeon and my friends, because my throat is shot to hell. Yeah, no. Until then, uh, Solo, the only guided experience... Well, not even really guided. The only other experience we'll have is, uh... Let's go meet the Sun God. That'll be fun. That'll be Your life is gonna change forever. But it's gonna be a good thing. They're love strangers. I mean, when I met the Sun God, my depression disappeared. It's still gone. Awesome. So, uh... Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just let's go meet the sun god. It'll be fun. There are strangers. I was a lost boy when I met you. Uh, I need to introduce these guys. Oh, Golden, I really have to introduce you to the Midnight. Because, okay, Golden, if you love the 80s, The Midnight is a band that exists today. God, They still play in your concerts. All their songs, even though they're vaporwave, they are heavily 80s. They're like a modern 80s band. I gotta get the fucking spring ball again. You gotta get some Midnight in your ears, boy. Ooh. Yes. Tasty. Okay, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna, Goldie, I'm gonna link you to one of their songs. It's called Days of Thunder. Everything about it is super 80s, and you're gonna love it. Okay. I, I can't right I now. I'm... No, it's for later, bro. All right. Yeah, it's for later. <clears throat> Fucking god damn it. He's very, very distracted. 
What Days of Thunder? I, I think that's the one I was actually trying to find. Yeah, Days of Thunder is the uh <clears throat> the NASCAR movie with Tom Cruise. Um it is it, it does have to do with cars. Uh Gloria the music video for Gloria is just clips of uh Back to the Future. Um Lost Boy. I love Lost Boy because I feel like kind of connects to me in some deep way. Uh, America Online is a really good song too. That song is kind of deep. Uh, yeah, this one has like the most '80s sound. Although Jason is also a really good '80s track. So just explore this band. If like I've gotten everyone I've shown it to addicted to them so far. Days of thunder. Of thunder. I want to play that song as we're traversing the plains of Texas going to Vegas with a th while a thunderstorm is brewing. Because that song would just be so appropriate. Just a warning, though, I am going to go be going at least 90 miles an hour listening to that song. Fucking hell, oh, boy. That, that is a lead foot pedal to the metal song. Fuck. <laughs> but Goldie will love it because everything in there is a reference to the 80s or 90s. But in like a tasteful like way. Uh, yeah, you just gonna asked stand you there and continue spitting your fucking projectiles. Yes. Somebody uh, asked yes. you in the chat, Aeon. So what, what would, would Brooklyn, Brooklyn Odin, Odin be like? <laughs> I don't know, cause I don't, cause um, if there was any any like pagan deities that you might associate down there, at least from the people who live there, you'd think it would be something Roman. Because you know the stereotype with Brooklyn is that they're all like Catholic. I know, I know that's like it's a joke question. I'm imagining Odin in like he owns he owns a deli. He's got a, a, a stained uh, tank top on. <laughs> Old man I'm walking around on Central it, Park. Star. Wanders around Central Park with a walk with a walking stick. I'm just being silly now. It's all good. Uh, funny. The days of thunder. Oi, I am actually getting kind of tired. Night, Joseph. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off on night. See you later, Uncle Jasper. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the stream.